Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we are going to discuss function definition. It's the elements of user defined function. There are three elements of user defined function. One is function definition, function call, and function declaration. These three elements is nothing but the building blocks of this user defined function. So, in this session, first we will discuss the function definition. This function definition contains the program module or the code for that complete function, user-defined function. There are two parts in this function definition. One is function header and another one is function body. The general format if we are considering in the sense type name, that is the data type name and then function name. What is the name we need to give? That function name we need to give here. This function name is like the Identifiers, any name we can able to give without space. The rules we need to follow like identifiers only. Any name we can able to give, but we should not use keywords. And then within parenthesis, we need to specify the parameter list. If there are more than one parameters in the sense, that should be separated by comma. And then this is the body of the function. And inside the function, there are three parts. One is the declaration part. Next is execution part and finally it should end with the return statement. And here if you are considering this is nothing but the function header. And this is nothing but the function body. So function definition consists of two parts that is function header and function body. So this is the complete function definition. First line is the function header. And the remaining part within this curly brace, that is nothing but the function body. So, first we will discuss what is function header. So, function header, if you are considering, there are three parts. One is return type, function name and formal parameter list. So, return type is nothing but the data type, int and then function name here is addition. And the formal parameter list is nothing but the variables A and B. And these parameters should be specified along with its data type. It is must. And here if you are considering here semicolon is not required. Instead of this int data type, if the function is not going to return any value in the sense, instead of this int, we can able to write void. So void data type is nothing but the called function does not going to return any value to the calling function. So void returns nothing. Other data types we can able to specify along with the function name. That is the data type space. We need to give function name immediately open bracket and we need to specify the parameter list that should be separated by comma and close the parameter list. And here compulsory it should not end with a semicolon. So this is nothing but the function header. And this is the example. Int is the return data type. Add is the function name. And this is the parameter list. And here we should not specify semicolon. So this is nothing but the function header. Next, function body if you are considering. This is a compound statement. We already discussed what is simple statement and what is compound statement. Any single statement that ends with a semicolon in the sense that is a simple statement. Compound statement is any number of statements specified within this curly brace. That is nothing but the compound statement. So, function body is nothing but it is a compound statement immediately after function header. So, this is the, this line is the function header. So, function body is nothing but after this function header, we need to open the curly brace and within this curly brace, we need to specify the function body. So, this function body, if you are considering, there are three elements. One is the declaration part and next is execution part and finally return statement. So, for example, if you are considering, so within this curly brace, this int sum, this is the declaration part. Suppose if you want to declare one more variable in the sense, you can add it in next line. So, likewise, the first part is the nothing but the declaration part. So, whatever the variables we used in our user defined function, that variables we need to declare it here in the first part. Next only execution part starts. Whatever the statements required to execute the function, 
that statements we can include in the execution part. So, here according to this example, sum is equal to a plus b. This is nothing but the execution part. And then finally, last statement in the body of the function is nothing but the return statement. If it returns any value in the sense, the return statement should accompany with the uh, variable. Suppose if it does not return any value in the sense, simply we have to specify the keyword return and it should end with the semicolon. So, here if we are considering only this function header part, we should not specify semicolon here. Okay. All other statements, it should end with a semicolon. So, this is nothing but the function body. And then in function definition, we have used the parameter list. So, this parameter list is specifically we need to call it as a formal parameter list. So, here it defines and declares the variable received by the function. Whatever the variables we need to receive from the calling function, that variables we need to specify like a parameters. And these parameters always it is required. Suppose if the calling function is passing a value to the called function in the sense, these parameters always it is required. Suppose if it is not passing any value in the sense, simply we can specify like this. It is enough. The calling function is not sending any value to the called function in the sense, no parameters. Parameters is not required here. So, we need to specify like an empty parameter list. But always this format is required. And variables must be declared along with data type. So, here int a, int b, int c. Likewise, the variables that should be declared along with the data type only. And multiple parameters in the sense that should be separated by comma. If function does not receive any data from the calling function, then the parameter list is empty. That means void. Void in the sense we need to specify like this. This is the empty parameter list. So, function definition if you are considering, it consists of two parts. One is function header and this part is nothing but the function body. In function header, this is nothing but the formal parameter. And in function body, this is the declaration part, this is the execution part, and this is the return state. So, these are all the different parts in function definition. So, in this session, we have discussed about the function definition. In the next session, we will discuss about the function call. Thank you for watching this video. 